This golf ball features the craziest dimple pattern I've ever seen. And it's not from a gimmicky brand. It's actually from one of the biggest golf ball brands in the world. So this golf ball is the Bridgestone E12 Contact. And the dimple pattern is fascinating. Normally, on a golf ball, we'll see circular dimples. Callaway for many years have had hexagon dimples and Bridgestone now have almost blended both. On the main dimple structure, it's a hexagon shape, six-sided shape. But on the inside of that dimple is a little round, almost outer dimple, almost like a nub inside that hexagon dimple. Now what Bridgestone are claiming, because of that extra contact that you could get with the golf shots, that's gonna transfer the energy from the club head into the core of the golf ball, and effectively it's gonna make that golf ball come off faster and therefore go further. That's not only the thing they're saying, also they're saying on the wedge, because of that extra contact, the golf ball has more of a chance of spinning, so you're gonna get more spin with the golf ball as well. And the tagline for this ball is straight, distance, and that's what made me very intrigued about this particular golf ball. Now, I've tested Bridgestone balls in the past, and I've been mightily impressed. I tested the Tiger golf ball and thought it was one of the best golf balls ever made. And anytime I ask on social media, what golf ball do you use? I now get floods of comments saying Bridgestone. It seems to be the cool brand to use. It seems to be getting a lot of traction. And talking about traction, it's the whole idea with Bridgestone as a brand. It's obviously a tire brand. They're using that technology that they use on tires and how they can best implement it on a golf ball. And they've got some big names using Bridgestone now. Tiger Woods, Bryson DeChambeau. So they're getting some huge credibility out on tour as well. Now, so far, I have tested this golf ball around the green. I've also tested it with wedges and seven iron. But the big test yet to come is the driver shots. Because on the box, it's saying you get 38% more contact. So it's not quite premium price like a Pro V1, but this golf ball has all the ingredients to be a really impressive golf ball. So, I first started around the green. I wanted to see what this golf ball was gonna feel like. It doesn't promise it's gonna be super soft feel, and if I'm honest, it's pretty much what I found. When I was putting with the golf ball and chipping with the golf ball, it felt much more like a like a Strixon AD333 if a lot of people have used that golf ball. So not super soft and not really super spinny. So then I came here to the home simulator. I hit sand wedge shots and seven iron shots. What I wanted to see was the spin, because again, they reckon there's more contact and you're gonna get more spin. Now normally with a sand wedge shot with a premium ball, I'm getting close to 10,000 RPM spin. With this, I was actually getting less. It's getting about 9,200 RPM spin. The carry was still good. The contact felt good on a full shot with a wedge, but it's something to know I was not experiencing more spin. I also found something similar with the seven iron. Now I've been working on my speed a little bit recently, so I am hitting the seven iron slightly further. I was carrying this ball 176 yards with around about 5,100 spin. So it's not a super spinny ball, which is one of the things it said it was going to be. But the big test, the one that I'm really most intrigued about is the driver distance. Am I gonna hit it straighter? Am I gonna hit it longer? with this ball. Okay, now it's time, Bridgestone ball with the driver. Okay, so that is all the testing with the driver done. And the results are in. But first, before I come on to the results with the driver distance to see if it was any further or any straighter, I also want to pick up on a few things. First off, durability. This golf ball I hit for all of the shots, all the sand wedge, the seven irons, and driver. So hitting it in the screen in the simulator is a decent test for durability. I've got to say it's done really well. Almost next to no scratches at all. There's probably just one or two little tiny marks, but on durability, very impressed. I also chopped one of them in half. In the inside of it, three layers. 
Interestingly, with Bridgestone, you'll see this kind of inner mantle being this, this almost see-through transparent layer. And again, with golf balls that I've tested from Bridgestone, the premium range, that inner core, that inner mantle definitely gives that really nice soft feel. But the outside cover on this, this definitely feels a little bit harder than normal. Now coming to distance. Now at the moment, I have been trying to train on distance. I've been trying to get faster. I've been trying to hit the golf ball further. You might have seen it on a video I did recently. So at the moment, I'm looking to be carrying the golf ball over 280 yards. Like I say, hopefully in this end of this process, I'll be getting close to 290 yards. So what was I getting with the Bridgestone E12 Contact? Well, interestingly, I was getting around 280 yards of carry distance on average. I was getting just under 160 miles per hour ball speed and the spin rate was just over 2000. A little bit disappointed. I was hoping for more, I've got to be honest, certainly because I was excited to see what that contact was gonna be like. But for me, I didn't see much of a difference. So then the next question, did I notice the golf ball going any straighter? Well, the answer to that is no. Yes, I still hit straight drives that went straight down the middle of the fairway, but I also hit some ones that went more offline. So I didn't notice it making any difference to direction. So in summary, is it a good golf ball? Well, yeah, it is actually. The performance was solid enough. It's not matching up to the premium golf balls like your Pro V1 or your TP5 or your Strix and Z-Star just yet. It'd be interesting to see if this technology with the dimple pattern potentially moves over into Bridgestone's premium lineup, and if then that makes much of a difference. But alongside a lot of its other competitors at that price point, that £30 price point, like your Tour Speed or your Chrome Softs or your um, TaylorMade Tour Response, then the Bridgestone E12 Contact is a good ball. Might be worth trying. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come, and we'll see you next time.